meeting done with the administrators and the dignitaries that are here for the National Volleyball League Finals. So I've seen the team of the Kazilinatar Rhinos now to turn the Western Cranes to be introduced by the captain of the Western Cape side, Clinton Stimmett. Well, uh, not too far away from the start of the National Volleyball League Finals. Russian Rorich, who's been here for a month in Kazilinatar, doing a lot of hard work behind the scenes as a tournament director and making sure everything runs properly and it certainly has been from what we've seen an absolutely delightful experience of course when you're losing a match you might have won you don't feel that great but i suppose that's uh, what it's like when you're playing in a sports arena and today it might be a similar situation with the western cranes having beaten the kzn rhinos in full play but it's a final and they're playing at home are the kzn rhinos who knows how this one might pan out gershon rorich I reckon uh, one could say it's been a successful one. Absolutely, thanks Kevin. As you look at the starting uh, six for the Western Cranes, Freedom Chia, Ethan May, Clinton Stimmett, Marshalina Julius, Malisha, Ivan Solomons, and the coaches Yusuf Grunewald. So, Jason Govender, the person in charge of the Kaiser and Rhinos. Man with a lot of experience in coaching volleyball, one of the highest qualified uh, coaches in the country. Coaches a team down here in Durban called Liberat. As you see, the, the players uh, enjoying their celebrations before the match taking place. As you look at the Kingdom Rhinos, Devon, Sandile, Lotion, Quinn, Newver, and Kiresh. It's the starting six. Strong with his side as well yesterday. He's a thrill about the Cranes coach. So highly experienced in volleyball. Hoping to take his team to the inaugural title and the gold medals of the National Volleyball League for 2018. Our officials Sergio Dominguez and Philip Chinua have been on duty throughout the course of the tournament. Nice to have international officials. Can be no doubt about their pedigree and that we saw through the National Volleyball League third and fourth place playoffs between the Gauteng Thunderbolts and the Bakum Bugwe Warriors. That they were able to pick up all sorts of little things that have been little fingertips, feet over the line, the touches on the antennae on either side. And uh, yeah, I suppose when you are an international official, you uh, want to be at your best to be showcasing on uh, international television. So the Western Cranes libero is uh, is Carlo as we start with the Cranes Rhinos with the captain Quinn followed by Devon very tall team that has taken the court for the Kingdom Rhinos they play make and setter. Kiresh, known to everyone as Conchi. And that's his starting six with the libero. As we get ready to kick off this match. Looks like Kaysen will be kicking off the match with the service. And the setter, Conchi, going back to serve number 12. So the KZN Rhinos in the black and white colours, the Western Cranes in the blue and yellow, with the exception of the Libero who is in white and yellow. And uh, first throw is going to be up for the setter of the KZN Rhinos, Chile Sharilal. And uh, we are just about to get underway for the final of the National Volleyball League. The KZN Rhinos will have the first touch and the first point goes to Ivan Sunday. So Ivan, the middle blocker of the Western Cranes, one of the senior players in the team. Great middle blocker, as you see, Freedom Chia. He went to the London Olympics for the beach volleyball. He is uh, playing in the team. He gets the first spot up. Marcelino with a set to the outside. Clinton Simmons is going to play off that. So the scores are 1-1. 
Yeah, it's a little bit of a clumsy start uh, in the front of the court for the Western Cranes. One point all though, early days in this one. And a serve for Devon O'Regan. Last down to the fast, that's a great spike from Ethan May. Ethan May, one of the few left-handers uh, in this tournament. A great utility player, lots of potential. Finding himself unlucky a few times not to make the national side. As the first referee calls for screening very early in the match, setting the president, which is going to have to follow. Immediately there's a protest, one can understand, from Clinton Stimmitz, who's across to have a chat to the officials. Still claiming he doesn't quite understand the call, but they are screening. It was the signal. Jewel is a score count, driven cheer. Looks it back out to the captain. Big fingers there from the Rhinos, Clinton Stemmett making it count as the Cranes are back in front. Clinton, uh, the captain experience outside it's a great vertical jump. Gets a dick set from Marcelino. As you see Ethan going back to serve, he's going to go with a jump serve. Top spin jump serves. Set to the outside. Big set and that ball is out. Four serve and two to the Cranes. Delivery is a popular figure, is Santi Licorta. Watching the match yesterday in the semi finals when the KZN Rhinos rolled the Thunderbolts 3 and 1 in set scores. Every time he touched the ball, he got a, a huge amount of support coming through from uh, the fans here. A bit misdirected on that occasion by Kuhn Neidel, but he makes up for it with some defensive play. Nothing defensive about that from Clinton Stimmitz. Absolutely straightforward play. The middle blocker drawing the other middle blocker. And the ball being set to the outside to Clinton, who's a powerhouse as far as scoring points is concerned. Marcelino spreading the game nicely. I see Ethan going for his third serve now. And going a bit long. So, serve change, 3 7 5. That was a big effort that came from Ethan May, but now it switches to Kewan Naidu, the captain of the Kazuna Natal Rhinos. Been powerful out there. We're in the early stages of this match, and Clinton Stimmett has already claimed about four of the six points that have been orchestrated by the Cranes. And you heard from the coaches earlier on to get a lead in the early on in each set is so important. The Cranes are doing that right now. Definitely, definitely. We saw in the, the bronze medal match how the teams were keeping each other in check the whole time until the final set. Good serve, reverse set, and that's another point for the Cranes. Ponti, as he is known to his uh, fellow players, scores the point in the middle, reverse it by Marcelino, good tactic. Alicia and Chuche, a big present, but he didn't have to place the ball away, just picked his spot, downed it, and sets it up again for Clinton Stimmett at 7th place 3. <laughs> wow. Clinton going for a thunderbolt, but uh, missing it, catching more of uh, his fingers than the whole hand, resulting in the ball going long. Every little door that's opened up for the home side, the Krasilintel Rhinos, it might be an endangered species, but who knows, the Rhinos might pick up a gold here. French here. Comes off the block of Lower Sham Gun Garage. Now you'll see with Freedom, Freedom likes the lower set. Therefore the game is going to speed up quite a bit when Freedom is in front. As well as Ivan. Ivan, Ivan doesn't take a big ball in the middle. He's more of a quick hitter and that's what makes him so effective. Felicia with the serve. Set to the outside. Devin with the down the line spike, and that's the first in spike for the KZN Rhinos. That was a good one as well from the KZN Rhinos, and number one. Still work to be done as they trail by four. Gungarash down the line. A little bit of a miscue there from Freedom Shea. Defensive almost immediately from the Cranes. There's a buzz around the stadium as it comes out. Reagan makes no mistake. He's done it on both sides and she's showing what a quality player he is. Well, the interesting part here now is that Devin has gone with the city in front. He's gone behind the setter, which is a bit of an unconventional play, but it's worked. And again, the Western Cranes forced onto the defensive early on. Nice pick up from Stimmitz. Chia down the line. Nice hands from Naidu. Oh. 
Oh, and they nicked that skull. They nicked that skull and the cranes. They all can't. So the score should be seven, eight. It's a lot of uh, crowd involvement here in this encounter so far. Eight all is the score. So the crowd getting pretty involved with the scorekeepers. Well, if you ever saw hometown supporters could beat. Ninety down the line. Bit of cheer. I thought the ball was getting past him. Goes for the spike. Comes off the block. Good work done there by Javier Ramjit. Yeah, feeling putting on his best smile for TV today. Great outside hitter. Not to show the beach player either. But he Not has some knee problems. And to see Marcelino. Truly, he's going to go back to serve with a float serve. Good pass. Played in the middle. KZ number 10 puts it in to open court. Juvir, the middle player. Start it again from Stem and the reverse. Ball to Freedom Chia. But a net touch goal on Devon. They are so tight at the moment. Little errors coming in from both teams. Both coaches looking a little bit concerned on the touch. I don't know think so from Freedom Chia. Oh, wonderfully off the block there of Ethan May and Ivan Solomons. Well, you would see that Ethan just stuck his left hand out and gave what we call as a con block. The serve again short. You see this up by the libero. And another net touch ball now on the captain, number nine. So, 12 serving nine. The cranes have suddenly picked up a three point lead. So many small margins, and uh, the officials doing a great job. Pick up here from Naidu. Straight down the line from O'Regan. Yes, great spike. It looks like he's got a lot of time on his hands when he's in the air, looking at the blocks and just uh, putting it away the capsule. So, 10, 7, 12. Devon back to serve. Devon goes flat down the middle. Looks like a short set as well, and unfortunately, they're not able to keep it up in the air. Chetiak, the libero of the Winos. Ethan May with his left hand, just cutting the ball late. Catching the Kaiser in defense out. Big spike, good block, great pick up. Felicia with a set, but that is seen as a carry. So the first if you call you a carry on the set. 11 7 13. A little bit of nervous, nervousness around the arena. With lots of mistakes coming in. Another whistle before the points completed. And a double called on the cranes. It's a technical little point being picked up here by the officials. Absolutely. And I would, I would uh, let it uh, slide for a while if I was a referee, but obviously that's my opinion. Um, but if you've been a bit strict, especially in this condition, uh, I would think a bit of leniency would be in order. The ball is a bit wet because of the humidity. So the, so the Cranes picks up a two-point lead again. 14-12. Ethan May, he goes back to serve with his left hand jump. Great serve. And that's a free point for the Cranes as Clinton puts it into open court. 15-12. Absolutely beautifully orchestrated point, just a couple of touches and points time. I suppose that's what you want to make it as economical as possible under these very humid conditions. If you're uh, new to this part of the world and you're not used to South African conditions, uh, Brazil Natal can be a little bit subtropical and therefore humid. And that's uh, the case this afternoon as the cranes rack up another point. And uh, on that note, Jason Governor will call the first time out of the final. The cranes leading by four points. It's got 30 seconds to reorganize the mindset of the home side. Definitely, I think uh, Jason is also missing a trick here. He should have stacked his uh, reception guys more to the left-hand side of the court. 
because Ethan is coming with a left hand and forcing to serve down the line, that could result in either out serve or a long serve. Just force him to do something different. Twenty seconds done. Timeout call completed. One is back on court. The cranes will follow shortly. Still going to be Ethan May on serve for the side that ended on top of the table as far as the mini league was concerned. It's another tremendous serve from Ethan May. Trying to keep it in play is Hilary Lal unsuccessful. Five points in it. Definitely Ethan May proving to be the difference currently with uh, between the cranes and the rhinos. Strong jump serve. He goes wide, 13-17. Yeah, a little bit of adrenaline there, he's been so successful up to this point, just uh, doing the unthinkable, so to speak, but these sort of things happen. Now it's Naidu, the captain of the Rhinos. Reverse set once again. Comes off the block of uh, Gangaraj. So the score now, 18-7-13. The Cranes have a five-point lead at St. Clinton, running behind the setter from position number four and hitting at the small block which Kaysenin has put there. Clinton with a serve. Great serve by Clinton, still with the captain. Leading by example now, 19-13. I was taught when I first started playing tennis that the only time you have control of the ball is on serve and then so I think it's... Uh, no difference as far as volleyball is concerned, and they're making good advantage of that. It's certainly the service games are better from the Western Cranes at the moment. So Ethan's May success, you're seeing Stemmett's success with another tipping ball. Nice hands of Ethan May, goes away from Stemmett. Well, you uh, obviously didn't have a long career in tennis, uh, Kevin, sitting up here with me today. I'm old. That's not the case. Aubrey Young still at it here as uh, one of the current favourites here, Corsa. Will serve once again off his opposite number. Pinichia comes off the block. Yes, all day, every day. Freedom is going to use the experience and hit the ball off the hands of the blockers. The line is going to be his main weapon today. Um, as you see, Umti, number 14, he's going back to serve. Goes with the jump float. And that's a bit of a problem with Umti as he normally serves the ball quite long uh, in other matches as well. They need to get a bit more consistency out of him today in this final. Still a five point advantage for the Western Cape side. Gugaraj, Krenci off the block. Nice recovery from Ben Nelson. That's nice as well from Corsa. Scrambling here from the Rhinos are on the back foot at the moment. Naidu down the line, he spotted some space there. Picked up by Van Nelson. Oh, that wasn't the greatest of sets. And I think it was a double call, absolutely. Double on Marcelino Julies. Yeah, sometimes the players, they think they know the rules. The referee's in the best spot. I mean, in all other sports, where have you ever seen the referee lose a battle? No, they don't. And neither does Ivan Solomon in that sort of position. Definitely Ivan. Ivan the terrible as he's known. As you see coach Yusuf Grunewald. He's looking a bit nervy still, coach Grunewald. I can understand that. We're in the first set of a potential best of five in Brazil and Natal at the National Volleyball League Finals. Upstairs with Gershon Rorich. Instrumental in the success of volleyball around the country. Most recovery from Chetiak. Regan reverse back again off the block. Lovely block from Runchit. Great block by Devon. Cross court. The set a bit too close to the net, and Devon was all over that. So 17 21. Kiresh will serve onto the libero. And here comes the humility and the ball. Being wet. Passing a run out. From Julius. It's 
three points difference now. Oh, that's a, oh ducks into the back of the big corner. From Ethan May, there was a bit of good fortune in that, surely. Well, the KZN players had a chance to pick their ball up in the backcourt, but decided to leave it. A lot of topspin took the pace of the ball, did Ethan. Clever shot into the deep corner. Freedom Chia. Great strike again by Yasmin. UV sorry. Hitting off the top of Ivan's hands. 19-22, three points in this game. Reagan this time on the serve. Oh, it's not going that well for the captain of the Clinton Stemmet. Well, let me say it was a very lucky uh, attack as the set didn't go all the way to the antenna. And Cornet used his long, lanky body, do some twist in the air, and hit the ball down the line. Crane's calling a timeout. As we've seen a five point deficit to be reduced to just two points at the moment. 22 to 20, the Cranes will lead. Don't forget when they played in week two of this competition. Western Crane took the first set 25 to 23. Lost the second, won the third, lost the fourth. And then won the final fifth set by 15 points to 12 to take the points on offer on the day. No points on offer in this one. Straight up, you win, you take the gold medals and the trophy, you lose, you come second. The Rhinos don't want to do that in front of their home supporters. Back on court with Devon. <laughs> Lovely block once again between Ramsey and Naidu. And here comes the Rhinos. Great block by UV. Number 10. What they've done in this thing here is they've taken the middle blocker, they put him on the outside, and they used Quinn, who's a much taller player, and moved him in the middle. That's one again. That's Quinn Naidu. The block at the net once again by Ethan May. Naidu! Let's go! 22 all. Here comes the Rhinos. Charging to level terms. Suddenly there's a big buzz around the University of Brazil Natal Westfall campus indoor sports arena. Reverse set. Nice hands from Havilaro. Nice recovery at the back of the court as well. That's gone out of court though from Gorza. And suddenly the Cranes gain a little bit of momentum, but it's tight. Definitely a bit of nerves to sort of keep it into the game of the Cranes. The pass is now a problem. Ivan with a serve. Marcelino, the set for Ivan, too close, another point for the Rhinos, 23 all. Winner must have a two point clear margin. I wonder how much the fan base is going to be influential as far as this match is concerned. Again, the reverse set, that's a little better from May. Definitely. Also a good set by Marcelino, he took a chance after the couple of calls that he had on the wet wall. He took a chance and did it the reverse set, but he went to his go-to man, Ethan. And that's a point, and the first set point, 24-23. Same man on serve, goes long. And now we have a prolonged first set because it's the first team to lead by two. Well, I don't have a problem with what Ethan tried there. It's a 50-50 call. You go for the big serve and get the point, you hit him. As you see, sit to the outside. Pick up in the backcourt, you're going to sit to Clinton Stemmet. And that's off the captain of the Rhinos, Kuhn. So, 25-7-24. Now every second point will be a set point. All sorts of changes coming for both sides. Kz and Rhino is putting up a block on the left hand side. Jump serve from Clinton uh, Stimmets. Kuhn has it back up the net from Chunche. Closes out to the first set by 26 points to 24. 
while the absolute wrong call to make as you can see the set is back was towards the net he didn't know what was behind him two blockers lining up ball should have been set to the outside bad call by the setter lost the set 26 24. first set then to the western cape team the home supporters not quite enjoying that situation because uh, there's lots of support in here for the rhinos as one can expect so they're down by a set to nil look at the amount of tax that the cranes have had 18 out of 51 10 out of 39 for the rhinos yeah i think the passing from the rhinos in the first set has been the man in the bottom of your picture in the blue shirts on Bruno Bucinetti. Some of the action from set number one. Devin Pitt uh, proven to be a thorn in the side of the of the crane, but I don't think they utilize him enough in this uh, in this match. He's been scoring points consistently. At currently in front of us he, he's got a 98% strike rate as far as success is concerned, so and his blocking isn't too bad as well. We saw that fan earlier on, Apuro Puccilesi, and the reason why I mentioned him is because I was here watching the semi-finals yesterday afternoon, and he was sitting just uh, next to us along where he's just about sitting at the moment. There you can see him at the bottom of your screen with the blue shirt wiping his brow, and he was so loud and such a high-pitched voice that he was like losing his voice in a falsetto situation at the at the top, and he was just screaming the whole afternoon. So, yeah, they got their number one support in the house here well, tonight. Well, that explains why he's so quiet today. The voice must have gone. The Warriors, they won the bronze medal, beating the Gauteng Thunderbolts in four sets. The Thunderbolts took the first set, 25 to 23. The Warriors fought back, 25, 23, 25, 21, 25, 21. They got the bronze medal, Gauteng. Go home with Muddy. The Cranes have done what they did in full play by winning the first set. 26 to 24 to 25 to 23 earlier on. Always happy to see himself on camera. Mr. Puccellesi is very quiet at the moment. Wait till the players get back on court and you get a shot of him. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he might, might not have a voice, but I'll tell you what he's here. That's great. I think you need some of those lozenges you were on this morning. Crowd not happy at all. One no, no, set no. down. Definitely some sour faces in there. It could change. Mr. Five sets, don't forget. The second of the two liberos for the Western Cape, Hayden Eves, in discussion. The discussion does don't end on the court because there's lots of discussions happening off the court as well. No doubt there's a lot of a flurry of uh, social media activity as well around this game. So what can the Cajun Rhinos do to pull this uh, game out of the back? We saw this morning the Warriors coming back against the Thunderbolts. Also wants it to love down and taking the 3-1 at the end. Plays are back on court. So setting it back underway. It's going to be the Rhinos who will have the serve. The man who's going to have it will be Marcelino Julis. It's a good contribution to the net, waiting for the contribution he'll make in the second set. He had a little bit of problems with wet hands towards the middle stages of the first set. And in a picture, Ivan Solomons, tremendous player. Back out of way then, start of set number two. Kevin, making no mistake as he comes off the block of Solomons. Points to the Rhinos. Well again, uh, Devin proving to be very effective on the attack. 1-0. Tipping serve from him as well. Nice recovery. Defensive play here from Ethan May. Reverse set again. Naidu coming up with a little touch and just a tricking Solomons there. It's almost uh, the ball took so long to come that Solomons is on his way down by the ball. Time the ball crossed the net. Beautiful play by Kuan Naidu. 
So Devin with a serve. Great pick up in the backcourt. Devin with a set again to the outside. Good hit by Ethan off the hands of Kuhn. And that's 172. Well, they're on the score sheet in the second set, the Western Cranes. The ball set to the outside, the left handy using the line. And a big spike by Yavid. Also proving very effective, not only as a hitter, but as a block also. Who can forget that block he took out on Clinton on Stennett in the first hit? Yavi serves. Carlo with a bad thing. Ivan plays well, but. Force it to the outside. Big spike. But who's there? Ivan Solomons. Wow, look at the determination from Ivan Solomons. The ball set to the outside by the Kaiser in line of center. Ivan all over that with his partner, Ethan. Oh, and another block. And another block. Great spike, good pick up. Marcelino with a set to the outside. Great spike. The rally is continuing. Police with a set. Clinton sets it up. Oh, can you believe it? At the crucial point, a double again by the setters. One level of three all has been a common problem here. The heat, the humidity in Kuzina Natal. Both sides have suffered from it. Shot set, good spike, Kungara. He's been very quiet in this match. The first set, he wasn't active at all. Van Nelson set up again for the captain. Block at the net, unsuccessful from Gungarad, who had a good play just in the last point. Four all, second set. Cranes took the first, 26 to 24. Ethan May has been very successful on serve. Short set again, Gungarad. So suddenly the Cranes up 5-4. First time they've been in front in the second set, so the Rhinos have allowed the Western Cape side to just to sneak in front. They let it serve, and he says, Hardy oh, indeed, out on the back of the court from May. I can't believe it. Well, that was close. If we had a camera on that line, it would have definitely been the Hawkeye in play. So that ball just out to the naked eye. Cosa, back by Van Nelson. Oh, it's a little scramble here for the Cranes, and that could be a little defensive from Stevens. Nice hands from May. That's a little better from Julie's. Gungaraj looked a bit disappointed. Not been able to uh, get enough of it. Clinton Stevens will be on third. There is Ubashan Gungaraj. Tremendous serving again from the Cranes. Nigel back from Stemmets. Net touch. So net touch called on Marcelino. Good spike for Freedom, not happy with uh, the net touch. Kungaraj down the middle, Van Nelson. Julie sets it up. Defensive play again as the set isn't close enough to the net. Devin! The Rhinos are back in front. Yeah, unfortunately, we got a short block on Devon's side in freedom. He's not going to give you the one and a half meters you need off a block. And that's a, a kill day every day for Devon. And you see another ace going in. So, the case in line, the Rhinos all of a sudden up for with two points. Kungaraj's confidence will be back as he looked a bit deflated after he missed out on a block earlier on. And with that point and an 8 6 lead for the Rhinos, time out from Yusuf Krillabal. Fans waiting in anticipation for Kingdom Rhinos or the KZN Rhinos to. Uh, take full control of the set number two because they are on the set down. So the ball being hit very hard today. Freedom chair, winning a couple of points at the net. 
as well as uh, you hear big blocks, big left hander by Ethan. And again, Devon proving to be personal battle going on between Devon and I think Ethan May on opposite sides of the court. Google rush on serve, not the greatest of balls from the crate. Scramble from Chia in vain. Case it in. Lead by three. There's just a little bit of a psychological advantage going on now. Google Raj is doing well on serve. Definitely, Google is bringing in that uh, tough serve, which they weren't doing in the first set. So the floor being cleaned. Dungaraj serves down the line onto Freedom. And now overpass by Freedom. Using the, the volley reception technique. So, 10, 7, 6. I apologize, it's confusing to his teammates. That's two mistakes in a row. I'm a very, very experienced player indeed. And the ball goes in his direction one more time. Versets. Oh. Stemmet powerful into the block. Stemmet going for the, the shorter blocker in the center of... Uh, the Niners, Conchi, and see the set score moving to 7-17, Umti is back to serve. Great pass by Kuhn, big spike by Devon, reverse set, good pick up in the back row. Doubles being called. Nine did particularly well at the back of the court, but the next touch was a double. The setters are really struggling with the ball, the witness of the ball. Come to the serve, out to Quinn. <laughs> and that's it, that man again. Newton, hitting the ball into open court, into position number one. Gets himself in a good position. He gets up nice and early too. He's got a wonderful leap on him. And there he goes again. But this time it's Naidu. Back to another side. Stretching the Rhinos out to a four-point advantage. Second set. They dropped the third set by two points. Some of the is uh, more involved in social media than concentrating on the net, on the B, on the back. Ah, get it right. On the indoor volleyball. <laughs> nice work done by Solomons. Calming factor as well as the motivator on court, Ivan Solomons. Right, very much. He hardly ever gets flustered. You see him, he gets pumped up, but he doesn't get flustered. Julius. Devon again. So these battles going on all over the court here. But Devon winning it at the moment. Every ball that he's getting, he's trying. He's either converting or making sure the ball goes over the net. So Devon floats serve. On to Ethan. Set to the outside. And another double call on the setter. Correct call by the referee. It's becoming a common theme. Supporters. And then that was really got a full house here. University of Tazilla Tower. Nice hands from Julie's. May comes up the hands of Harilaru. Comes it in support. It's looking a bit worried. The plane's coming back 11 13. Chia. Pick up from May. May. Big opponent's Corsa. The other side of the court. Corsa off the block. I call him the silent assassin. You don't hear him, you don't see him, but when he gets the ball, like he does here now, cross court off the hands, big jump, huge jump. Good pass. Off the hands again, here comes Kieran with a set. Oh, big block by the wall from the cranes. Three men block. Ivan Solomon's right there. But it looks like Ethan May got that end to yeah, it. It does look like it, but I tell you what, it's, uh, it's almost like a great wall of China over there. May and uh, Solomon. Naidu trying to do something a little different. And it's another double called. Yeah, yeah I think the, the, the coaches are also missing the trick here. I would bring a fresh hit in, 
equal quality as I see it. Um, and it can only give uh, the setter that's on court now a break just to make sure he gets everything sorted out. Good pick up by Devin. Set this up by the libero. There's a chance for the cranes. But Ethan puts it out. A chance wasted. 15 13 to the line -out. Well, that was the point to tie up the second set after the cranes have picked up the first 26 to 24. They've missed the chance. Yes, Naidu. Tunis. Oh, that's great. From Antunche. And it was a powerful spike by Umti, as is known to all of us. Nickname. The beach girls enjoying that. Now the uh, winning combinations and the runners up. Those are the finalists, by the way, of the beach volleyball for ladies. Of course it goes long. Who are their fingertips? Yeah, he's the call. So, fingertip touch ball called. Just a little pause while the floor is cleansed one more time. The Kingdom Rhinos with a two-point advantage of the Cranes. Long way to go before we get to the end of the set though. First to 25. And to lead by two. Cosa. Julie. Stemmets. Big spike by Clinton. Stem with the captain of the Cranes down the line. Into open court. So... The gap has shrunk to 1.15716. Clinton Stem going for the jump serve, giving it all by putting that quite long. So 17-15 the Rhinos, if they want to win the set. So here comes the tactical decision. They're bringing on a hitter in the front court, the set in the back court, which is a move that is quite common uh, on the club scene. I see Marcelino being replaced by Hita and Ethan being replaced by the setter. So Dad and the setter from the cranes, he's on. Service there. That ball is out. You'll probably see a reverse substitution when Dad gets to the front to position number four. You'll probably see Marcelino coming back. But 16-17. Serve by Umti. Good serve. Off the hands, revealed again, consistently scoring points for the Rhinos. Yeah, he did a good job out there. Is Yubi Ramajit, Ramajit, a big part and the coach looks a little bit nervous, but he must be a slightly happier than he was in the first set. It's a short set again, and Freedom Chia might have done his knee as he barreled into contention there. Managed to get the ball on the ground anyway. Very, very uncomfortable after he spiked that one. And uh, again, we're having changes. Currently, Freedom's action is very uncomfortable as you see that sub taking place. Marcelino coming back on for the attacker and Ethan coming back on for the center. So that change has worked. Maybe they're still one point behind as, as when they went off. So Marcelino with a serve. Good pass. Spike and that's blocked out solid by Ivan. There's a great support in the house. He's happy. The score is level at 18 all. 18 all. One set allowed for the Cranes. 18 all. Ivan Solomon blocking that ball from Devon. Very calm from Naidu, unfortunately that ball from Stemmett. Uh, well, not sure about the communication on the uh, right hand side of that point in time, a bit of a mess there from Chetiak. I think this is where the, the Rhinos lose it sometimes, they go into a state of yes. where their minds seem to not be working, everything is not on point, and they get in a state of panic. And you can see there, that's exactly what I mean, the ball should be picked up by the backward player, and Q and turned around, tried to take the ball, and he didn't hear the call. Lost the easy point. This sort of things will happen when you can read out. Oh, there's the last of the USA shirt. She's looking uh, quite animated. We saw her in a different part of the stadium now. She's got in amongst all the supporters. 
TV cameras have found her. Very hot in Durban. Everybody fanning each other off. As you can see, the president of Western Bronze Volleyball Union there in the red tie, followed by the Limpopo support. And that's the coach's wife, Mrs. Govender, from the Niners. Players back on court. Still the Cranes with Julisi decides to change his mind. Mighty will work it back. And uh, once again, it's Yubi. Yes, Yubi proving to be the consistent player. He's not as tall as a lot of the middle blockers, but his jump is huge and his hang time is exceptional. Oh, bonus points. Devon serves that ball straight into the net, handing the advantage back to the Cranes. 20 serving, 19 freedom. Isimanga Chia serves the ball cross court. Great spike, here comes Freedom, but that puts it into the net. Wrong option completely here to do. Should have gone out to Clinton Stimmett. But the Cranes look like they enjoy themselves full, even though we in the final 20 all. Great cross court spike by Clinton Stimmett. It almost looks like the sets are just going a little behind uh, Clinton Stemmett, otherwise it's him that's running in just a little, he seems to be hitting the ball just from underneath a little bit instead of just a, a fraction behind it, but uh, nonetheless it's been mighty effective so far. Nine in there off the block, and then the second opportunity, really, now it goes across to Corsa, Corsa comes off Ethan May for the point. I think we said this earlier, Corsa is not a very loud player. But he's very effective on the outside, hitting the ball off the left hand of Ethan. Good jump by Ethan, but couldn't get over the ball. And another service here there at the critical time. The captain of Kaiserin not stepping up in the final stages of the set. Wow, that is, uh, it might very well be a crucial error. In the meantime, Austin Crane's coach trying to get some information to uh, Ethan May. I'm not sure whether that's uh, the noise that's coming from the KZN in Rhino, so that the message can't get through from the coach to the player of the opposition. And Ethan May is a good server. Oh, that's a tremendous serve. The must have been able to work it back with Corsa. No, they don't. Great serve there by Ethan May. Took the speed totally off. First time he did it in the whole match. And what a critical time to do it at 22-21, winning the point, making a 23-21 two-point gap in the second set. Crucial, crucial time here. May once again, down the line this time, Naidu. That's out of court, he's a no, it landed on the line. Not happy in the Cranes camp, but they'll accept it. Definitely. Goes her back to serve. Number three from the Rhinos. Serves on Ethan, terrible pass. Clinton going to spike this ball. Block by Levation. That's a crucial point because the pass is up at 23 all. Second set. We're almost going in the same direction as the first set. Don't forget we were 23 all in the first set that was eventually won by the Western Cranes 26 to 24. We're in familiar territory here in the final of the National Volleyball League at the University of Kuzul Natal. Yeah, they're feeling the heat up there as well. Corsa with a serve, on to Carlo. Corsa, big scramble, hurry ball. In fact, it's Chetiak. The Corinthian ball takes it in, the fans are loving it. Stimmets, can't make it count. Devon, set oh, point. Oh wow, crowd going crazy. And the reason they're going crazy is what a pick up. By the libero, number two of Kaiserin. Ishan Devon hitting the ball off the block, but that point was set up perfectly by the defensive play of the libero of the Rhinos. The crowd appreciating it. Set point for the Rhinos, 24 23. Pulls it down the middle. Gonna make this count, yes. Damn it. Naidu with good hands. Naidu! Long! And we'll have a prolonged second set. Just the same as we had a prolonged first to set. My goodness. Christian Rorich, both of these teams want it, they can feel it. Mm 
Tintin Stimmitz. Devon, the change of mind, Ethan May. The crowd suddenly goes quiet. Stimmitz. First ball back over from Corsa. Chia! So Freedom Chia playing off the hands of the middle blocker as coach Jason Governor calls. A timeout for the Kaiser Lions. 25 24 to the Kaiser enthralling se second set that we're seeing here the lead changing sides every point almost it's craziness but this is what you want to see with the top two teams in the country and this closely matched into each other it's brilliant stuff Kaiser and Rhino is looking to find a really good action they can hardly afford to go two sets down Gershon? not at all they can't it will be a tough ask to come back and win three sets in a row, especially against this Cranes team, who at the moment is putting everything out of their mind, the crowd, the occasion. As you see the ball being set out, Clinton Stemmett hitting off the hands. Great spike off. Good blocks. So the game is quite exciting. Set point, what can the Cranes do? Freedom Chair himself, but then Sir, of course it as well. Hungarad, defensive play for Kazuna Natal. Advantage here to the Crane to go two up. Identical set scores, 26 24, 2 0. Great win there by the Cranes, two sets to love up. Killing the Rhinos. Oh, there's a lot of work to be done by the Rhinos, there's no doubt about that. We'll have a uh, three-minute break here before the players get back on board again, but there's some introspection to come. Blocks better for the Cranes, the Dicks better for the Rhinos. Aces, 6-1. to one. Service series, 6-3. to three. So that evens it out a little bit. And uh, the Cranes are sneaking home. And 26-48. Uh, to I beg your pardon, 26-24 in the two sets. I think the crowd a bit uh, shell shocked currently watching their home team going down at the moment two sets to zero. They have a lot of character building to take care of here in the third set, taking it step by step, trying to win the third set, taking it to a fourth and maybe a fourth, but the, the Western Cranes are in perfect position. And it's a different proposition to when they played in the pool matches because it was one set for me, one set for you, one for me, one for you, and went into a fifth set, which the Cranes then won by 15 points to 12. It's a different proposition now, because what the Rhinos have failed to, to achieve in the first two sets, so they have to now achieve in three sets in a row, coming from behind. Well, there we go. It's all happening in Durban. Well, even the Moffers are getting in on it. Uh, but uh, I think the, the important thing to note yesterday is that the Cranes had quite an uh, easy semi, if you look at it, compared to what the Rhinos did. Um, Cranes winning in three straight. The Warriors not giving the Cranes quite the good opposition that they were looking for. Uh, so 3-0. As you see now, 26-24, 26-24, identical scores for the first two sets. But the Rhinos had a, a pretty tough semi yesterday against the Thunderbolts. If it was a situation that the accumulative score was the, was the, like the total score, then there'd only be four points difference between the two sides, and they'd come on and just continue playing. Unfortunately for the Rhinos, that's not the case because they're down by two sets to love. There's an enormous amount of work that they have to do to get themselves back into this encounter. Absolutely, they're fighting demons at the moment, and the demons that they are fighting is that they've lost to this team before. They two sets to love down and they need to figure out something that's going to work for them and not concentrate on the mistakes that they are making. Every time they're making a mistake, they're losing two or three points at the critical stage of the match. They were up by about four points in the set and they just lost all their points to the Cranes. And remember, you win a point on every time you serve. So that, that's a critical error that they're making. They're losing on, on serve reception. And I think the Cranes at the moment, the heads are. The Niners need to pull something out of the bag right now. I'll tell you what, uh, I hope there's a bit more of a buzz than there is at the moment at the start of set number three because the Rhinos fans have gone a little bit quiet 
and there's a very a minimum of Cranes fans in the house, yes, you have a look at the beach volleyball sites, they're still in the house, yes, so there is that amount of support, but about to get underway then for the third and a very crucial set indeed, it's must win for the KZN Rhinos, and here is uh, Ryan Lahidas, looks like to be one of the veterans of the side, if you go by the little fuzzies on the chin and in a grey in colour, Chia off the block, scramble from Stemmets. Solomon, so cool, so calm, Pixie spot, does the business, one up, the Cranes. Remember how we had it in the last match, the team that won that first point always seemed to win that set. So we see freedom. Shia Manga Chia spits its ball to the middle. Off the hands of the libero Carlo. Carlo from uh, Ocean View in uh, the Western Cape, Cape Town. Showing his skills of here at the National Volleyball League. So, service point Ooh. for Devin. Stimmet. We're with the hands of Shetia. I think we all know the character of the Kaiser and Rhinos team. The first couple of points of the set, you see where their minds are. If they want this, you'll see they pumped up. As you see, I've been serving the ball of Unti Elzima. Probably a drink after this game. I remember doing that in a, a tennis league match when I was uh, playing first team at school, in Cambridge in East London. And uh, I was only saying eight, this is uh, the first time I was playing, and I was playing with a matric student, served the ball for the back of his head, and uh, yeah, it didn't go down well, I can promise you. Explains a short career in tennis. Very short. So, back to the match. Uh, the line is leading 3 2. The service on to the libero. Sit to the outside, big block, good pick up by Carlo. Another big block, but a net touch ball on the Rhinos. Yeah, they're not going to be happy with that. Gungaraj, double block it, tremendous stuff. We can see the captain number nine touching the net. Ethan May. Tremendous on sir, gets a net call, Devon does well. This time, there's a touch on the net from the Cranes. The set in the middle, good pick up by Ethan. And that's another net touch by the Rhinos. So, four serving four in this third set, critical third set for the Rhinos. Championship set for the, the Cranes if they win it. No, it's three net touches in a row as the uh, teams get a bit anxious, maybe lose their way a little bit. Stevett with a tipping serve, nice pick up from Devon. Well, that might have been going out from uh, Porter. There was a touch from Stevett anyway. Yeah, the touch came off the, the set as well at the net. So Clinton quite rightly going to try and bring the ball back. As you see the score now, Rhinos 5, Cranes 4. Coach looking on from the sidelines, Corsa, back accounts with May. Bit of a mix up there between Julies and Nchunche. First time uh, Marcelino tried the second ball over and didn't work. It was a good, good time to try it. Corsa with a serve, he serves on to Ethan. Marcelino sets it out. And what does Freedom Chia do? Uses that experience and hits down the line of the hand of uh, Spitz, as we know him, Ryan Lalvas. Rhino is still in front though, they lead by six points to five. He doesn't shoot yet. Seen a couple of overhead uh, attempts from uh, Chucha again, the reverse fight. Naidu. Kingdom Rhinos. Gungaraj out. So, 6 7 7. Marcelino, the setter, the playmaker of the team. He's going back to serve. He's out of uh, Atlantis in the, the Western Cape. 
Joshua Chamsa. Ivan is there with a the block. Good block. Reverse it for Ethan. Down the line. Off the hands. After the better for another point seven all. Doesn't bode well for the Kingdom Rhinos. Oh, that facial expression tells you anything. Home fans and the home team and the serious pressure. Julie's that is floating very deep indeed. Devon! Pops out with the left hand. We didn't see that before. Yeah, that was very well done. Showing how gifted he is. Saw that the ball wasn't going to reach his right hand. Another point by Freedom Tria. We can call him a veteran, but he's not playing like one at the moment. He's playing like a man possessed. So what, there's a lot at stake here. The inaugural National Volleyball League. Eight all, third set. Two sets to love the Cranes. Is that long? No. Good work done again by Devon and Regan. A little buzz around the stadium precinct. Regan himself. Flat serve from him. Stammer comes off the block. Well done by Naidu. Defensive play from Van Nelson. And Naidu somehow miscues completely. Yeah, the captain has to step up in this match. He's not had a very good match thus far. Nine all. Third set. Solomon's on serve. Naidu. I don't know whether he's short of confidence, he's not hitting the ball well. That is the number nine, Kewen. Juvil with a serve. Great serve! And that's a place. 11 serving now. Ethan May, not so happy with that, but uh, these sort of things happen. Juvil again, rotation. Not happening as it should be on the crane side. Three point difference. Rhinos ahead in set three. Timeout called by the cranes who need to just think about it. So the two coaches uh, talking to the teams. Jason introducing the new setter into it. Ryan Naldas. Long time sit in the national team. They up now 12-9 in the third set, looking to fight back. Sometimes one change could make a difference in the game. And to change your playmaker is a big call, but it looks like it's working at this point in time. Now we saw that in the Thunderbolts as well, where just for a couple of points, Jeremy Sunker, the captain of the Thunderbolts, was brought on to replace Warren Sieverts. Some of the local flavor here. Well, as you can see, volleyball, very popular game amongst everybody. Another spike there by Ethan May down the line in the court. 10 serving 12. Some of the dignitaries sitting in the crowd. Ethan May back on serve. His side trails by two in the third set, but getting by two sets to love. Again, just a little bit behind cause. That makes it easy for Freedom Chia. Is it easy for Stemmet as well? The answer is positive. Yeah, I think. Uh, is the time that uh, Jason has to make the call based on the, the captain not putting his weight on the court. That's now the fourth net touch that he's done. Ethan with a serve. Wins the point uh, eventually. But a lot more is needed from him as a leader on the court. There were two sets of love down. As you've seen, uh, everybody and anybody enjoying it. Substitute in for the Western Cranes as they bring on Leonard Poison for uh, Julius. Nine you answer. Another reverse set. Great pick up by Chetiar. Devon Why? So that is the defensive sub that they brought on there. The number 12 for uh, Ethan May.
In fact, they did the same substitution in the in the second set where they brought the setters on. Clinton with the serve. Big block there by the sub. Number 12, Leonard Boyson from the Cranes just came on and that tactical decision worked for the, the Cranes where they took the set off and brought on a, a bigger blocker. I will take some credit for that as Stamets is again on serve for the, could I say, visiting side. Oh, goodness. Another half a roll and that's uh, dropping on the side of the Rhinos, but uh, it's not. Yeah, Coach Yusuf Grunewald also as focused as the players are on court. He knows that they're about 11 points away from this first ever trophy. 12 points. Carlo with a dig. Great dig. Reverse set. Off the hands and a net touch. Oh, hand of a net called on the Rhinos. So, 14 all. Ms. Govan, they're also feeling the heat. The coach's wife, as you see by the net. Hand of a net called on Devon. Explanation to Kieran Naidu. The governor is, uh, yes, Mr. Jason Governor is not happy as well by the look of things. Nothing he can do about it from that point of view. The final decision is taken by the officials, and uh, that decision picks us up to 14 all as a tune check. Naidu. Devon. Well, the problem that they had there in that point is that. <laughs> the Libera was off court because the middle blocker, Umti, that he normally plays for, served the ball so the Libera wasn't allowed to be on court. And Umti is uh, not the same ball to volleyball. Big spike again, but that ball called a double uh, by the setter. 16 14 to the Rhinos. Here, setting it up for his captain. Easy pickings for Naidu. That's dropped at the net from Solomons. An immovable object almost. Absolutely big hit. Ivan making sure that he's up there and tall like the great wall that he is and blocks that ball out. Darren Lewis off the court. Ethan May back on. That reverse substitution being made again but the two setters changing with the utility. So we have our starting setter and starting utility on court. Marcelino with a serve down the line. Big block by Ethan. Showed the open space to Devon. Devon bought the ticket, but did not win the lottery. Two sets to now for the rest of the Cranes. 16 points all. And the KZN Rhinos are under pressure. They call for the timeouts and uh, yeah, a little bit of sympathy being shown there to my good friend, um, Puro Butelesio, my NBF, new best friend here in Kazan Natal. Very quiet day at the office of Mr. Butelesi. Very quiet in here, yes, very quiet. I think the lozenges as it worked. On top of that, it doesn't help when your team is 2-0 down. I know. Oh. Yeah. To achieve for both of these two sides. A victory in the set for the Western Cranes and they win the final 3 0. Pick up the gold medals, the lovely trophies on offer as well. We'll have a trophy presentation at the end of this, by the way. Julie's. Devon. Reverse set. Quarter. Into the block. Oh, net touch. Net well, touch. That is the silent assassin we're talking about. The reverse hit to the backcourt player. The ball goes on the inside of the two blockers. Oh, and uh, Libero Carlo just slipping on the court and couldn't handle the, the pass. So, the Rhinos go up to 18-16 lead again. Two points. Carlo with a great pass this time. Great spike by Ethan May. You know, it's been interesting that uh, most of the time when there's a timeout called by the Kazil Natal side, once they get back on court, they seem to win the next two or three points in a row. At some one stage during the second set, it was four or five points in a row, but that's all being eliminated now with uh, Fidium Cheer on serve. Reverse again to Devon. Try something delicate. Nice block from Stemmet. Oh, there's a slip from Maidu. What's he doing on the deck? 
Well, that looks like uh, the court being wet again. It's a lot of humidity in this hall, and the players are sweating profusely. The water dripping onto the court, or the sweat dripping onto the court, and the guy is finding it very hard to maintain the grip. Wearing some of the best shoes you'll find for beach volleyball, but sometimes that doesn't prove effective enough when you come and battle the water on the court. That wear shoes in beach volleyball. To Shady. Freedom with the serve. On to Quinn. Great pick up by Freedom in the backcourt. Big spike off the fingers of Quinn. And that's 19 18 to the claims. Oh, that's a crucial point. Asking for a bit of calm here. Yes, Yusuf Grunewald. Good cheer. We'll continue down the line. Oh! Well, that, that's that experience for you. He's been practicing that so just for this time in the match. So anyway, to put a rabbit out of the hat. My word. Yeah, I think uh, what he's done here, he's pulled a rhino out of that. And just moments, these as the Cranes are five points away from closing out the championship here, the National Volleyball League. Gold medal and the champions for 2018, the inaugural competition. KZN Riders are a mountain to climb, with two sets to love down, and about two points down. They got seven points, but you know, seven points to go to uh, win the set. But you know, we went into overtime in both the first and the second sets. Plays back on court. Mr. Chia down the line. Versus Devon comes off Solomons. So off the hands of Ivan, 19-20. Can the Niners come back into this match? They need to score a point and score a point fast. Devon, he goes back to serve. Serves on to Clinton. Yeah. Big block by Who's that? Silent assassin. Posa, number three of the Rhinos. Look at this again. Timing perfect, impeccable technique. Timeout called by the Cranes. 20 all, third set. They will not want to play the final set. Or they won't, don't, they won't want to go and play a third and fourth set or fourth and fifth set. Well, the Cranes, that's for sure. Don't forget, best of five sets in the National Volleyball League. Indoor series. First to 25, lead by two. Final set, first to 15 to lead by two. Now we're going to the last play here. Game for power. Causa, brilliant. Players back on court, 20 all. Kazan and Rhinos. And one point straight after the timeouts as Devon is on the serve. To carry. From Clinton Stemmett. You can see the pressure written all over the face of the Western Cranes captain. Well, the Rhinos are taking 21 point to 20 lead. And the yellow card given to the captain of the Cranes. That's a warning. That's his first yellow. Showing a bit of descent uh, towards the, the referee. But uh, that wouldn't affect Clinton too much. Good character, good attitude on the court, and a great leader. Maybe just a little bit of pressure here in the third set. Would they want to go into a fourth set and tempt fate? That was a little Rhino has come back. Yes. Solomon says I got up. Yeah, Ivan again. He's probably got 100% uh, kill rate at the moment in this match. Ball gets set perfectly by Marcelino. Off the face almost of the libero. So 21 all. What can Ivan pull out? Can he give us a race? Ball gets set. And the in call by the linesman. So the Cranes moving to 22 21, three points away from the championship. See so what? They weren't happy with that, were the KZN Rhinos, but they have to accept the decision. A tactical change again made 
by Jason Carpenter as he brings on Pregan Gungarat for the first time. Oh, that's terrible. A waste of serve there by Ivan. We thought with all his experience, he would just keep the ball in play. Give the pressure back to the Niners, let them force the play. Preserve, you win. Outside, Clinton Stemmer into open court. Great point, 23-22. Hmm, starting to slip away again and more changes coming as uh, Yubi makes way for Chetiar. Critical point here. Critical point. Great pancake shot from Freedom Chia. Opportunity here. Critical point, you can't blame uh, the Lise for that set. 23 all, third set. It's been a 23 all in the first set, in the second set, and now in the third set as well. The pressure is mounting. One point either way. Well, every second point now is a set point. If it's on the side of uh, the Cranes, then it's a match point. Every second point. If the Rhinos win the set, the crowd will lead up. Oh, a truly strong hand, match points! And the smallest guy on court, he's got the biggest muscles at the moment. Out Justin. The replacement player, number five. Yes, Clinton Stimmett for the competition. He's going to go for it. What does he do? Whoa! Chance to score this point. Freedom cheer for the win. There goes the Cranes. Three set to the against the Rhinos. Disappointing for the home supporters, but the Cranes are delighted. Yusuf Willebold, Hagen's assistant coach. And the Cranes have made a clean sweep of all competitions in the inaugural National Volleyball League. They've won both the men's and the women's cups at Beach Volleyball, and they've just beaten the home side, the KZN Rhinos, the host of this competition. 3-0 and in set scores to win the indoor cup as well. Absolutely. The best team in the tournament, both on the beach and the indoor, just showing how rich and talented the players are down in the Western Cape. Coming through in this indoor final of the NBL National Volleyball League, Brought to you by Volleyball South Africa and Sport Education, South Africa 3-0. It's good to have the support of Volleyball South Africa. The Cranes beat the Rhinos 3-0. Couldn't have been closer. Two points to set scores in all three of the sets so far. The Cranes coming up in front when it was most required. And congratulations to the Western Cranes. Our own supporters, understandably, not happy. Well, I've never seen more quiet pom-pom girls in my life. Yeah, those pom-poms are going nowhere. Oh, 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 here we go. Can you see yourself on camera? You do your business. What an end to the match. What a day. At the National Volleyball League at the University of Brazil Natal, Westville Indoor Sports Centre. There's the celebration. Seen that in football sides when they score a goal in an FA Cup, perhaps, potentially. And the Western Cranes, uh, well done for their performance over the course of a, a month of, net, of, a beat, of of volleyball down here at Kuzil Natal. Oh my goodness, a month of volleyball down in Kuzil Natal. And uh, Lindjube Tube is going to uh, wrap it up for us downstairs, having a chat to the coaches. to our commentary team, Kevin Evans, alongside Geshe Roach. Well, I can tell you one, that the partisan crowd here at the UK's and West Coast Campus have been thoroughly entertained. 26-24 in, in the first set, 26-24 in the second set, and 25-23 uh, in the third set. Game set and match is the Western Cranes who are crowned the 2018 National Volleyball League champions. I'm joined by the winning coach, Coach Lisa Cronival. Coach, what a match. How are you feeling? Well, obviously, uh, very excited at this point in time. Um, you know, being the inaugural event and you know having our names, uh, Western Cranes names uh, engraved on the trophy, it uh, feels uh, very good. You know, to Jason and his team, uh, congratulations to them. Uh, they put up a good fight. You know, on the day we were just slightly better than them, but I could have gone either way. 
as you saw, the set scores were very close. Um, and you know, uh, our guys, we just stuck to our guns, uh, stuck, to, you know, stick to the basics, one point at a time, and just staying in the moment, and uh, you know, it helped us in the end. It was very tightly contested, point for points in each set. But as you said, pre-match ahead of the game, is that um, you want to start strongly. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, that was uh, key for us. The, the first kind of five, six points to start, start very strong. We knew it was going to be a tough battle against KZN, um, and they, they really classy team, and it's a pity for them. So uh, for the fans as well, you know, yeah, for them. It's obviously sad for them to see the team kind of put on the short end, but you know we uh, we we very we very excited and we we you know we're trying to remain humble in this in this win as well. Um, and just two volleyballs in Africa as well, a great event, the uh, first event of its kind. And hopefully this is going to be the the start of bigger things to come for volleyball in South Africa. So we quite chuffed to be part of this. Um, we put up a good spectacle there. Hopefully you know South Africa has now seen you know what the volleyball is all about indoor uh, specifically. Yeah, so so good. Thank you. Coach Yusuf Kronfeld of the Western Cranes, they now complete a double, having beaten the Kingdom Rhinos in round robin. I am joined by Coach Jason Govindar. Coach, what a match, your thoughts? It was a good game, but unfortunately the side that played better volleyball in the day won and we have to give them credit for that. You seemed displeased with some of the decisions. It happens in the game, uh, but we lost because we didn't play as well as we expected. One or two points will go against you, but that's how it is in the game. So we didn't lose because of that. We lost because we didn't play as well as we expected to play. Coach, thank you so much for your time. Sorry? Thank you. It's a pleasure. Jason Governor, the coach of the KZN Kingdom Riders, of course, very despondent here as they lose to the Western Press. They will, of course, uh, take up the silver medalists as well as we get up for the um, podium as we get ready to crown the 2018 National Volleyball um, League Champions live from the UKZN Westville campus. What an enthralling match here at the UKZN um, campus as we bring you live on your world of champions. We will join our commentary team now for all the highlights of this pulsating encounter. Thank you very much, Julie. Indeed, we do have your chat to the two coaches. Interesting hearing the thoughts of both Mr. Governor and Mr. Hurunabalt. So, fans, understandably, not all that happy with the results at the end of the day as the Cranes do the double over the home side, the Rhinos. Good work by the Cranes, led by the captain, Clinton Stemmett. The blocks. The Rhinos being led by Devin O'Regan. But at the end, it was the powerful cranes that came up, repeated the, the victory even more clinically in the finals than what it was in the round robin 3-0. On the final point, we can see Freedom Chia hitting the ball and how appropriate for Freedom after such many, so many uh, years of service to the game, coming in and scoring that final point. You got a feel for the guy. He's done it all in volleyball, Olympics, national indoor uh, player and now winning the inaugural national volleyball league with uh, the western cranes great guy great team the western cranes but you also got to take your hat off as you see the cranes sliding in their celebrations you have to, have to take your hat off for the uh, the rhinos as well so have a look at the trade of the tape there and the, the uh, text pretty much the same as far as percentage is concerned the blocks better from the cranes the dicks better from the rhinos but overall, it is the score on that counts. A 3-0 in set scores for the Cranes gives them the championship. Hope you've enjoyed the action, but there's more to come because we're going to have the trophy presentation. The best defender, server, blocker, setter, attacker, MVP as well as uh, the bronze, silver and gold medals, the trophy presentation. Join us in just a moment. This marks stay connected to Super About to get set for the presentation ceremony at the National Volleyball League. Third and fourth place playoff. The Warriors from the Bronco beat the Thunderbolts from Gauteng. Three sets to one for the bronze medals. And the Cranes beating the Rhinos for the second time in two weeks. 3-0. The last time they met it was five sets. The Cranes winning the inaugural National Volleyball League competition from the Western Cape. And a great victory it was for them as well. Fans are a little bit disappointed, I suppose, that their home side will only pick up the silver medals, but we saw that there is some hope in the side of the Kuzilla Natal Rhinos. And we are going over to Lindue 
who will go through the post competition medal ceremony down on the side of the court. Lindy Wen. Thank you so much, commentary team. This is how things culminate here at the UKZN Westville campus and the inaugural edition of the National Volleyball League Championship. We now move on to the prize giving ceremony. Please um, join me in welcoming the VSA president, Mr. Anthony Mukwena. He will be awarding the bronze medalist. Please welcome on stage third place runners up after finishing um, third place, having secured a three sets to love victory against the Thunderbolts. Please welcome the Warriors. Good work done by the Warriors, who were beaten by the Karting Thunderbolts by three sets to love in the preliminary round, the round robin stages, coming back to winning four sets then, coming back from a set down as well to win sets two, three and four, pick up the bronze medals, looks as if volleyball is healthy up in the northern part of the country as the Mapum Bukwe Warriors come up with the bronze medals here at the UZ. UKZN Westfall Indoor Centre. Yeah, good work done by them. We'll see them in action, no doubt, in beach volleyball and in indoor volleyball. It's been a good performance from the Mapum Kubwe Warriors. And to present the sil silver medalist awards is acting CEO of Saskok, our patients, Shikwambani. Please welcome on stage the second runners up, KZN Kingdom Rhinos. Kingdom Rhinos in the group stages lost only the one match and that was two in the Western Cranes. They lost to the Western Cranes in the final as well. They took home the silver medals. Yes, there'll be some summer faces in amongst the supporters, no doubt about that. But uh, yeah, a good performance all around and perhaps a little better during the group stages where they lost in five sets to the Western Cape side in the final. The set scores themselves are pretty close, 26-24 in the first two sets, 25 to 23 in the final set. There's absolutely nothing to choose, really, between the two sides. But uh, at the final day of reckoning, and when the final points were up to grabs, all three sets went to 23 all. But it was after that that the Western Cranes had the better BMT, and uh, therefore it's the Western Cranes who come away with the action. But I think the KZN Rhinos can hold their heads up high. They make the final in front of their home supporters. They take away the silver medals and it was a great performance all around. The fans still are looking on in anticipation for the winners medals and the trophies and the individual trophies as well and in the middle of your picture there Dr. Margaret Springer who was involved in the place of, in the beach of volleyball she finished in third position with her partner Manana. Lindiwe! After four weeks of enthralling volleyball action, it's time to crown the winners of this year's National Volleyball League. Please welcome on stage your champions, the Western Cape Cranes. Western Cranes? Oh, seems like a little bit shy to come and accept their medals, accept the trophies as well from our dignitaries here on the side of the court. This is took us in the class Boyemi, both of the sport, sports and recreation department in South Africa. A great performance from them. They finished up with a log off in the mini league stage. Also winning seven out of eight matches that they win in the semi-finals against the Warriors. 3-0 and as far as set scores are concerned. They win 3-0 and in the final against the home side, the KZN Rhinos. And uh, yeah, it, it, it took a lot of character, I think. But uh, where they showed the character was, as I said a bit earlier on, when they were 23 all in all three of the sets that came through to win it. Just not long after that, if you take the set scores, 26-24, 26-24, 23-25, you can see that when the sides were level at 23 all, the BMT of the Western Cranes came through and they scored the critical points at the critical times of the match and they scored the critical victory. There's some of the lasses that were participating from the Western Cranes as well in the beach volleyball competition a clean sweep for the western cranes winning the women's and the men's beach volleyball they win the indoor volleyball as well it's been a great performance from the western cranes at the inaugural national volleyball league championships as the final medals get presented they'll stick around because we'll have the presentation of the trophy as well and lentiwe will take us through all of that
Thank you, commentary team. Congratulations to the 2018 winners of the National Volleyball League. We now move on to the special awards and presenting those awards. Please welcome Portfolio Committee Member of Parliament, Ms. Lula Matinjikam. We will start with the best setter of the tournament. And it goes to Captain Fantastic Franz Lefawane of Limbobo. Captain Fantastic from the Mapu Goodwe Warriors, Franz Leffer, picks up the best setter award in the competition. And uh, you'll be very pleased that I wasn't too happy that uh, they weren't able to come up with the gold medal match, but able to get himself a, a personal award as the best setter in the competition. We'll have some more personal awards for you, but congratulations to France, Lepa. Congratulations, France, for walking away with the best setter of the competition. Zone 6 President Mr. Frederick Ndobo will present the um, best attacker of the year. And from one captain to another captain, the best attacker award goes to Clinton Stemmets of the Cranes. He's a proven leader, both on uh, the indoor circuit and uh, when he's playing beach volleyball as well. Calm, cool and collected. He's the last man too. Yeah, Clinton, uh, definitely the best att uh, attacker when it comes to the game. He's led his team well. The final, he had a great success rate of 92%. That's a nice uh, individual plaudits to Western Capes, Clinton Stemmett is the best attacking player in the competition. Thank you, commentary team. We now move on to the best blocker of the year, and it goes to KZN inside, Lubashan Gungaraj. Lubashan Gungaraj, playing the number four jersey for the KZN Rhinos, doing some good work at the net, picks up the best blocker award. While well, Lugushan get in the wall from patience and uh, he definitely deserved the, the award. Good tall middle lanky blocker and made a, a good impression on the on the whole tournament. Congratulations to all the winners thus far and the best Seva award for 2018. It's going to Western Cape. Please welcome on stage Ethan May. I don't think there can be too many complaints about that. No, definitely not. Ethan may definitely deserve it with his uh, left-handed jump serves. What a, what a competition he's had, not only uh, with the serving, but at the net as well. Receiving the award from the president of Volleyball South Africa, Mr. Anthony McCoyna. Great award uh, to win the serve. Always starting off the game, so very important as uh, Ethan walks away with the best server award. Thank you, commentary team. We now move on to the best defender for his imperious work throughout the four weeks. Please welcome on stage Carlo Nelson of the Cranes. So Carlo Nelson, best defensive player. What uh, a tournament he has had. From Ocean View in, uh, in Cape Town, they brought him out. He performed on the big stage, winning the best defensive player at the National Volleyball League. Carlos. One more award to come. That's the MVP for the National Volleyball League. While well, he's already standing by to lift out the, the prestigious trophy, the most valuable player for 2018, Captain Fantastic, Clinton Stamets of the Cranes. Clinton Stamets MVP. His teammates love it. There's no doubt that he's going to get a lot of support. He's escaped it as well. Big smile on the face of the, of the big man. He wins the personal award as the best attacker. Wins the MVP too. Good one. Well, you can't go wrong with uh, Clinton in your team. He's done wonders for this team coming through the, the tournament. Winning the best attacker. Now the MVP of the National Volleyball League. What an award to receive. Being recognized by everybody as the best player in the country. Uh, Clinton Stemmett, most valuable player. 
And all that remains then is to the championship trophy to be handed over to the Western Koreans. Well, we are going to have a bit of a break, I think, because the uh, minister isn't here yet, and the minister was going to hand over the trophy to the Western Koreans. So that's not going to happen yet because he's not here yet. And so, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a delay in the proceedings, but uh, congratulations all around as well then. Best defender to the Cranes in the Libero, Carlo Van Nelson. The best server to Ethan May. The best uh, attacker to Clinton Stemmett. The most valuable player to Clinton Stemmett. And the only other player to receive awards with the best blocker for KZN in Lovashan Gungaraj. And also the best yes. setter that went to Franz Leffer from the Mapung Gubwe Warriors. So it might, have, it might be a little bit of a damper to the celebrations of the Western Cranes. Still waiting for the Minister of Sport to arrive in the uh, stadium, the new Minister of Sport. And uh, a little bit disappointing that we have to wait. But there's our, there are the personal trophies in the Western Cranes camp. The best defence, the best sir, uh, the best attacker, the MVP. The other trophies going to the best blocker for KZN, the best setter for Limpopo. And the only team that didn't receive a trophy in the knockout rounds was uh, the Kauteng. So a little bit of work to be done, I suppose, then, for the side from Kauteng. This is how the Western Cranes came up with a title. Three sets to love. It was a tight thing in every single set, Goshen Rorich. But at the end of the day, they had the BMT when it most counted. Definitely. I've never seen freedom run so fast in my life. Enjoying the last point, winning the last point. But what a happy coaching staff. They've done all the hard work. They looked the more professional uh, side in this competition. The groundwork was done. The players celebrating for months and months of hard work they've put in. Absolutely. I mean, it's been a brilliant competition. One has to feel sorry for the sides that didn't quite make it. But there's a celebration from the champions, the Western Cranes. Clinton Stemmett, alongside of him there, Hayden Eves, who didn't get a chance to get on court during the knockout rounds, but they are the winners. Congratulations to the Western Cranes, the 2018 National Volleyball League Champions. Thanks very much to Goshen Rorich, thanks very much to Volleyball South Africa and the Department of Sport and Recreation. Thanks very much for hosting us in Futsula Natal. It's been tremendous being here. The Western Cranes champions of all of the competitions here, the Beach Volleyball Men and Women and the Indoor Series as well. Thanks for joining us on your World of Champions. Thanks to our entire crew. You guys are most awesome. And we'll see you again next time.